Hello everybody, happy Friday, happy Black Friday. Uh, special uh, holiday edition here at coachingwine.com for Parsh and Wine Pairing. Um, thank you guys for joining us today and I uh, hope you guys are taking advantage of all the special promotions that we have going on on the site, which are David. Yeah, we got some, some really, really uh, amazing stuff. We got the mixed cases. Uh, Jared, if you can see behind you, we got our, oh, yes. our website up there. Mm -hmm. um, Black Friday is always uh, pretty crazy over here and lots and lots of stuff going on. We put on some amazing sales. We have the, the mixed cases, which are great, great deals. We have a bunch of wines that are heavily discounted. So check out the site, don't miss it, go today. Uh, I would even advise you not to watch the partial wine pairing because you could always watch that later. But stick around because the sales will be going all day. You don't have to, you don't have to worry, there'll be something for you. Um, we also have a trip to Israel going on, free trip to Israel mm -hmm. for two with, um, with some tours to different wineries. Mm -hmm. uh, it will be fun for whoever wins. So uh, make sure you get in on that. Uh, what else do we have going on? Yeah, just, uh, am I missing anything? Got some flash I'm, sales coming up, maybe? Maybe. Stay Cyber tuned. Monday. Cyber Monday is coming three -day up. It's a three-day Yuntif. Yeah, it's, there's going to be a lot of good stuff, but definitely check out the site. I mean, there's there's some really, really good stuff. Click on the banner at the top and, and stock up on wine. All right, Jared, let's talk about uh, what's going on today, though, this week's Parsha. Okay, this week's Parsha, folks, it is Vayishlach, Vayishlach. which is to send out, and it's all about Jacob and Esau um, coming together to um, battle, but then not battle, and then make amends. So uh, this Parsha deals heavily with uh, Esau, Esau, uh, who becomes uh, the progenitor of Edom. Mm -hmm. um, also, we get the name Yisrael in that, but right. like that's... Um, Today for the wine that we have. So Benjamin is born. Ben, as Benjamin born, Benjamin and is Rachel born. Dies, yep, and, and the Rachel dies. So, so a lot of crazy stuff. Up. But uh, nevertheless, a uh, big part of it is Esau, Edom, the uh, brother uh, brother of Jacob. So uh, the half Torah actually is um, by a guy named um, a guy, oh, one of a guy the, named Ovadia, one of the prophets, Ovadia, Ovadia or Obadiah, Obadiah, in, uh, the in Anglo uh, transliteration. So Obadiah, Ovadia. <laughs> is a actually a descendant of Asaph. Yeah, he's a convert. Who, a convert uh, to Judaism. He becomes mm -hmm. a Jew, becomes an Israelite after being exposed to kind of like the debauchery of Edom, who was the nation uh, just south uh, of uh, Israel and the Jews. And they weren't too nice to them and going on with the war between Edom and Israel. It's a, and Babylon. You know, and then, and and then, Babylon. Right, and then Edom, a lot of stuff there with Edom joining the, the war against the Jews right. and not, you know, not But so there. we have this remarkable individual named o, uh, Ovadia, who comes from Adom and then, you know, leaves all that and then prophecies against Adom for their, you know, their bad behavior, to say the least, mm -hmm. and the debauchery and, you know, you know, making war against the Jews. So uh, in honor of Ovadia and in honor of uh, Esau, we have Ovadia Estates Chianti right here, which is from Italy. Also fitting to, I think Rome is uh, supposed to be Adom. Rome, so, yeah. Uh, it is. So let's go ahead and give this uh, give this a try. And Jared, this is actually uh, I know you love Italian wine uh, with your Italian connection. Uh -huh. uh, Chianti being uh, primarily a Sangiovese grape. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes there's some other stuff in there. I don't know if this one uh, lists any of the other varietals, but usually Chianti is primarily Sangiovese, if not all Sangiovese. Sometimes it's a blend with some other stuff that grows in the region. Um, so we can assume, though, that this is going to be at least 80 to 85 percent Sangiovese, with maybe some margin of uh, Cabernet. Okay, it could be Cabernet, could be Merlot, and some other Italian right. varietals that yeah. could possibly be in there. But let's give it a try. All right. So on the nose, mm -hmm. and something like that tart cherry, maybe some, mm -hmm. some like a little bit of cranberry, maybe mm -hmm. herbs, or even like um, like balsamic. Mm -hmm. oh, Chaim. Chaim. Salud. It's a lighter bodied wine. Definitely. You're definitely getting that tartness on the, on the palate. Mm -hmm. um, very, very interesting wine. This is definitely a wine that will stand up to food. It could even go with pizza, like, you know, yes. Italian food, oh. pasta, pizza. Pasta, pizza, pasta and pizza together. Dried meats, um, something mm -hmm. that had, you know, some, some stuff that's a little bit stronger, even though it's, it's light and tannin. Chicken cacciatore. Chicken cacciatore. Oh. Some brajol. This is great also liver. Mm. And uh, fava beans, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that the lambs thing, mm -hmm. yeah. 
I'm not going to make it. Go good with liver. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Oops. And uh, yeah, Chianti is one of my favorite, uh, one of my favorites, hands down. We got someone commenting there. No. Mm -hmm. Hi guys. Hello. Hello, Shannon. How you doing? So yeah, again, um, this is uh, from the Ovadia Estates. Is there anything else from Ovadia Estates? Mm -hmm. uh, this is like also, Bar it's under the Bartonora. It's under the Bartonora label, which uh, obviously books the blue label. It's the blue bottle. Yeah, they make a few other wines, um, you know, including Mont uh, Monte, Pochia Monte Pochiano, Briello, mm -hmm. um, and a few and other Rosso things. Rosso Toscano too? Yeah, but I don't know how many of them we carry. Um, mm -hmm. So, and I know we for sure have this one in stock. Yeah. Uh, this is, you know, this is one of the... You get this now, I forgot, you partial mm -hmm. seven, you get 7% off on this on the and all case. the partial ones. Right. On the, the whole, case, the whole yeah. partial wine pairing mm -hmm. case. Right, right now, you got to buy the case, and soon, the case for uh, Exodus, for Shmos, is going to come out. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, be a, that one we'll have ready so that you can purchase it and have it, like, right away for when we start with that book. Yes. And follow along. Um, I think there's only like 11 Parshas in Shmos, or maybe there's mm -hmm. not 12, but I think with Shkala and Mampara, some of the other things that we read uh, extra, we may be able to, to complete a, a full 12 pack. Good stuff. All right, Shulchaim. Well, um, this is really, a, this really opens up too in a span of about uh, 45 minutes to a half an hour. Yeah, this way, is a dry, to... yeah, this is a dry wine. Um, if I didn't mention that, this is dry. Um, tannins are medium, acid is medium, it's so like it's definitely if you want a dry wine this is, and a Chianti and, some, and something Italian, this is a very good option. Uh, it's also a very good, uh, very good price, a very good QPR wine. 13, 13 bucks it's around or so. 13 bucks, yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, definitely. And it's mabushal, so if it needs to be mabushal for whatever reason, but it doesn't taste mabushal, it tastes fine. Anyway, l'chaim. L'chaim, l'chaim, and guys, make sure, please, uh, please, uh, um, you know, shop away on our site all day. And for next week, mm -hmm. what do we, we got going for next week? We have Parshat Vayeshev, and for that, we are going to be pairing it um, with the Amos Au Chateau. Au Chateau. Au Chateau. This is actually uh, an Israeli wine. We imported it, um, mm -hmm. so you can't find this anywhere else. And um, what they do here is there, there are a couple of guys from France that open up a winery in Israel, uh, in Tekoa. So it's a nice, nice, uh, nice location there. Mm -hmm. And uh, this, is, this, is their, this is their brand, the Amos, the Amos Winery. Um, there's three wines. There's a Malbec, a Dumoulin, and a Au Chateau. And um, 2013 vintage, I believe all of them are 2013. This one, Look at what it's got in there. It's got some Sangiovese. Oh, it's got some Sangiovese. I don't even but think it, I've had this one yet. I've had the Malbec. Yeah, so there's Malbec, Merlot, Cab Franc, and Sangiovese. It's a blend uh, with some of the, the varietals that they grow right there. Mm -hmm. uh, very, very nice, interesting wine. If you haven't tried this yet, go ahead, uh, pick up a case or two. Uh, we won't be having this for a long time. Once once the current stock is, is out, we're, we're not getting any more of this in. So Stock up now, folks. So get it while it's here, but it's in the partial wine pairing case. And it will be a perfect pairing for next week's partial. We'll tell yeah. you why. Get it now. <clears throat> now All right. Black Friday. Take so don't forget this week, Ovadia. Also, if you have a Sagoda Dome at home, that also works well Sagoda with this week's Dome, Parsha. Yeah. We, we, did did that, we did that last mm -hmm. year. Dome. Uh, so that's, you know, with all the Dome stuff you were mm -hmm. talking about, uh, yeah. that works well. Um, yeah, and uh, don't forget, uh, after you watch this video, go kosherwine.com, enter, click the home banner, and it will take you to all the amazing Black Friday deals. Don't miss out. There's only one Black Friday a year. Mm-hmm. And one Cyber Monday. And one Cyber Monday. Get it Monday. now, though. Right, Get Cyber Monday, game. another yeah. more crazy deal. So yeah. today, Monday, Sunday, get them while they last. Every All right. Monday. Live from kosherwine.com, Devin and Jared, wishing you a good Shabbos. Good and Shabbos. Hope to see you next week. Happy Black Friday. Happy shopping. Good Shabbos.